Hello and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program Cool Things to Build. I am Pyromaniac and today I'll be showing you how to build a fighter jet in Kerbal Space Program with working missiles. I know, working missiles. Uh, I basically built this uh, one day. I sort of modeled it off of an F-16 jet so it, it sort of has elements of that in its design. Um, and then I, I used uh, a really simple way I know to make uh, missiles that look good and also um, work, uh, essentially. So here we go, I'm just going to show it off. In addition to having working missiles, it is also actually just a really good jet, so you can sort of copy this design for any sort of plane you want. Now, what you just noticed there was I have separatrons on the back. All that does is it makes it take off quicker because it's better for a showcase like this. Um, it, it can take off easily without them. I just It just gets it up to speed quicker. So I'm just going to circle around and I'm going to show off the actual power of the missiles. And in addition to having missiles, this also has my patented, not really, um, quick stop system. And basically it's two parachutes on the back and it makes it really good at stopping. As I'm sure you guessed, so first missile. is really embarrassing when they miss. That that didn't miss. That It just looks... That's There's nothing there. Uh, yeah, so I hit with the first one. I was a bit off with the second one because it was just a really bad part. It was just, just me being bad at aiming. But yeah, I really wish they'd add like a, an aiming uh, interface, but there isn't one, so I can just go cry about it, I guess. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to slowly nose myself down here. Oh, no, no, that's a bit too high. Goodness, and then I'm going to use the patented quick stop system. No, don't. <laughs> Perfect. First try. Brilliant. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to actually make it. The part that most of you probably watched this video to see. And this is what this channel's about, I guess. Um, start with a Mark 1 cockpit. Followed up with in the command and control tab at advanced inline stabilizer. Fuel tanks. Mark 1 liquid fuel fuselage. And if you think I'm going too quick at any point, by all means, pause and rewind. Um, command and control, again, second advanced inline stabilizer. And finally, a third Mark 1 liquid fuselage, like that. And then for the engines, you add on uh, a whiplash turbo ramjet engine on the back. And now we're on to the actual wings. Um, I, I'm going to add the uh, back wings first, so get the AVR8 winglets like so on the back and then I just I'll just have one of them I have one of them as a tail fin as well because it just makes it overall better at turning and then for the actual main wings it's two delta wings one on each side obviously uh, and like that ish yeah about about like that and then the control surfaces I use are the elevon ones and you want one uh, two on each wing two on one what am I thinking? Um, here is that. There we go. I got it. I think I finally got this down. Uh, the actual placing system in KSP. There we go again. Look at that. So that is the basic design here. And then you're going to want to go into the second tab of the aerodynamics and find structural intakes. Now these don't actually get too much intake air, but I like them because they they don't really subtract from the look, and they're quite small as well and light as well, how, how light they are, they're really really light, they might as well not even be there. Um, so I just had four of them, and then now we're on to the actual wheels itself. Now you might have seen on the plane that I was using there, I had um, RCS, that's the one, RCS ports, but you don't need them, because um, there weren't even any RCS tanks on that ship, so I didn't even use the RCS. You can use it if you have infinite fuel, I just did that once. And it just makes it slightly better at controlling, but frankly, in the atmosphere, or in lower atmosphere, certainly, it's it's good enough at maneuvering that you don't need them at all. So this is the basic design here, not including, here we go, the patented quick stop system. The Mark II are radial mount parachutes on the back there, two of them. Perfect. And that is the basic design without missiles. So to go over it, cockpit, stabilizer, two fuel tanks, stabilizer, fuel tank, engine. Uh, the two winglets and then a, a winglet as a tail fin, delta wings, two elevon ones on each side, and then the uh, structural intakes, four of them on the top, and oh god, the voice crack, two um, parachutes on the back there, and then of course your landing gear. 
now we're on to the best bit or well, I guess it's the best bit it's also the most finicky bit because you're gonna have to do a lot of tweaking with this when you actually uh, make the design because some when you when, when you first make the missiles they're not always gonna go straight they might go off a bit to one angle and you're gonna have to tweak the positioning of the uh, engines and just how, how they fire not the engines of the actual ship the engines of the, uh, the missiles just to make them go straight um, but once you've got that down they're brilliant see I, I did that a bit badly but it doesn't need to be perfect basically three cubic octagonal struts straight down and then one placed on the side of the bottom one like that I am doing this quickly so it doesn't have to be perfect just something like that basically um, and then again stay in the structural tab get a TR2C stack separator now this is going to be the thing that actually separates your missile from your aircraft uh, and then you just get one more cubic octagonal strut and actually place it on the separator thingy I've already forgotten what it's called stack separator that's the one uh, so this is the actual body of your missile now you need to add the propulsion and to do that you're gonna have two separatrons on each uh, engine and you place these on the side like so now I do I do hate having to place this because the camera is I hate the camera angle um, okay here we go uh, and these these should try you should try to get these in line with one another otherwise it'll go off to one side so that they, they are pretty much online I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get them perfectly but this is the thing you need to tweak you need to tweak the p placings of these separatrons and if once you do that they will work and now we're on to the last part of the actual building stage which is you have to configure the sta uh, staging that's the one so you want your main engine going first and your parachutes going last why do I only have one? ah I didn't mount it radially that would have been disastrous there we go so now you have two parachutes instead of just one um, and now separate out these separators um, into two separate areas and these are going to be your two little missiles because they're going to fire separately you don't want to fire them both at once um, so we're going to configure this one first and now look into this tab here and you can see this is uh, now it's highlighted when I go over this in the staging you can see on the ship the actual separator itself is highlighted and then you're going to want to look through these two here that I have highlighted and you see that, that one correspond oh, no, this one individual one corresponds with this separator and now you need to do the same with this one and find that it's this one and then once you've done that and now when, when you mouse over it separator and both separatrons are connected to each missile so when you fire that stage off it's going to disconnect and the engines are going to fire off all at once so now this is how the staging goes is the engine, one missile, the other missile, and the parachutes last. Now you don't need the parachutes, I just like to have them because it's sort of a last ditch safety measure. So even if you're up in the air, you lose control, you can place them. You might not land perfectly, but it's it's like a last ditch thing. So this is the plane. Um, if you need to go over that again, by all means rewind it uh, and listen to my beautiful voice. Um, but now I'm going to actually, I'm going to show you it one more time. And uh, I'm going to conclude. I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to load. Okay. Oh, there we go. I should know how to do this by now. I play enough of this game. Okay, so, yeah. Here we go. And here we are again with the plane. I'm going to take off, and I'm going to fire off both missiles at the VAB, hopefully. And then I will try to do a landing back on the runway using the patented quick stop system. It just sounds so official, but it's not. It, it is something that, that would happen in Kerbal Space Program, though, because everything's like, oh, found on the side of the road. That's, that's my that's my company. Or pro product. Well, you need a company for a product, technically, don't you? So that's my company slash product. Eh. Boom, boom. There we go. Look at that. The VAB. Yeah, that, that noise you heard there, that was totally it falling down. No, not, it's not. So yeah, it's not there. It's completely gone. It's exploded. So yeah, as you can see, all that was falling off there was the actual um, separator because they, they usually take a few seconds to actually fall off. So here we go. We're going to do a quick bank around uh, to get back to the runway. And as you can see, I am a professional, but kids, don't try this at home. Actually, I'm far from a professional. I just play a lot of video games. Okay, now this is a really quick stop. Oh, no, 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 God. Just do it. Just do it. 
this is not going to work because we're so high up my nose is going to hit the ground but as you can see that was a perfect display of what happens if you have to do an emergency stop so if you like this video comment like and subscribe uh, say what you liked say what you didn't comment any ideas you have and by all means submit a fan request because I'd love to do one of them uh, build, I'll build whatever you want within reason um, so yeah again thanks for watching goodbye